Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. Sorry, I was a little absent there for a second. So guys, today is, what's today? Friday. Friday all day. And um, I got to thinking, Jenny's been asking me for waffles. Jennifer goes through all this, she goes through phases, like one week, one month for breakfast she'll want waffles. One month for breakfast she'll want bacon and eggs. One month for breakfast she'll want cereal and sausage. <laughs> she drives me crazy. So anyway, so I, I didn't buy waffles at the store. And of course she asked me, sorry, I'm just going to fix my hair because this thing is aggravating me. Um, she asked me, of course, the time that I don't buy waffles, she asked me for waffles. So I remember I had my, I wanted to break out my, um, my little um, dash waffle maker because I'm going to start making some low calorie like waffles and well, they're called like chaffles. I used to make them in um, when I was on keto. If you guys ever know about keto, they have these chaffles that you make that are so good, guys. They taste like waffles, really, really, really good. So I wanted to take that anyway. out anyway. So what I figured I'd do is I'm going to make her some waffles, and then I'll stick them in the freezer this way I have them. Why buy them? I can make them. I have the waffle maker, and I have time, and it's, it's fine. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to take these along with me. All right, so let's get started. So I already put all the flour and the baking soda and the salt in here. The only thing I didn't put in here was the sugar. So I'm just, I have to look at the recipe, okay? So just bear with me, dudes. Bear with me, guys. Okay, let's see. Preheat the griddle, which I'm doing. In a mixing bowl, combine flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. Okay, that's all in here. Here's the sugar. Okay, combine that. Then, what does it say? This can also be store. Oh, you can make this and store this for later, too. Okay, in a small bowl, mix whisk eggs, milk, melted butter, and vanilla. Okay, the eggs are in here. When I put this egg in here, it cracked. <laughs> so this is already cracked in here. I got one egg in here. I'm going to go melt the butter because the butter's in the microwave. That's two eggs. The milk, one and a half cups milk. I gotta get my whisk too while I'm up, guys. Then here's the whisk. So how's everybody today? How's everybody doing? How's your weather? We got a beautiful day here. Well. Actually, the sky was blue this morning. Now it's like, did I have my hair sticking up? Um, now it's like cloudy, but it's, you know, it's not raining or anything because, yeah, I think that's a piece of hair, right? <laughs> you see everybody. Um, it's supposed to rain this weekend, guys. All weekend was supposed to get rain, which I'm kind of glad because it'll wash all this freaking white snow away. I can't wait to get rid of all this snow. God, I'm wanting, guys, I'm wanting spring so bad. So, so bad. I need it so bad. So, um, so yeah, it's going to be crappy this week. It's going to be, this weekend, it's going to be raining. So, but today it's clear, you know, pretty clear. And the temperature's probably like in a lit, I think. Alexa, what's the temperature today? Right now, it's 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh. Tonight, expect a low of 28 degrees. 44 degrees, guys. So, it's not bad. That's a heat wave for here. It's been so freaking cold. Let me get the butter. Oh, you know what I have to get to? I have to get my spray because um, we're going to have to spray the waffle maker. All right, here's the melted butter. So it says mix, whisk, whisk. Let's see here. All right, in a small bowl, whisk together eggs, milk, melted butter, and vanilla. Okay. Eggs. And the butter. Get all that yummy butter out. How much vanilla do we need, guys? One teaspoon vanilla. One teaspoon. We need a little over one teaspoon because we like vanilla. One teaspoon. Wait, is this a tablespoon? And it's a tablespoon. One teaspoon. Vanilla. Come on. 
Oh my God, I'll be here all till Thursday. Till next Thursday, I'll be here. I don't know. I'll do it with this hand. This is my better hand. I don't know about you guys, but I have that tarpal tunnel, tunnel syndrome. Oh my God, this kills me. Just add it on to the other issues that I have. Whatever. Okay. So, instructions. Let's see. You're mixing bowl in a small bowl, whisk together. Eggs, milk, melted butter, and vanilla. Okay, so that's what I put in there. Pour the milk mixture into the flour mixture. Whisk into combined. Okay. Let's give this a whisk. Let's get the eggs all mixed up. this into here. Yeah, after this, guys, I'm going to make some low-carb waffles. All right, let's get all that out. Put in here. Because this is all dusty. Get this whisk. All right, so let's see what it says now. Whisk until whisk until combined. Okay, so just until it's combined. Oh, it smell, guys. It smells so good. Is this all heated up now? Why does it look like it shut off? Thick. It's really thick. Woo! Getting it all over me. Why am I? Why do I make such a mess when I can do? I do stuff like this. I don't know. Oh, God. This is a workout. It's very thick. I guess it's supposed to be like this. Woo! <laughs> All right, let me check this now. Okay, free waffle iron. Mix them. I have to read things for 35 times, guys. Are you like that? Comment below if you have to do that. Whisk until combined. Spray waffle iron with baking spray before the first batch only. What? Ladle into the waffle iron and cook until golden brown. Let me spray the. Is that what it said? I gotta make sure this thing, I thought this thing was clean when I put it in here. What was that? Uh, you know what guys, I gotta let this cool off and I gotta wash it because I thought it was clean and it's not and we wanna have clean waffles, I'll be back. All right guys, I had to wash it. I took it out of the cabinet and it was in there for a while and didn't even realize that when I lifted it up, it wasn't too clean. So now it's nice and clean, guys. Okay. Now, guys, I have music playing in the background. If you guys can hear it, let me know because I know that if you guys can hear it, then I can't play it that loud. So I have it low enough where I can hear it because I love music, guys. You know that. I love to hear it and I love to sing it while I'm doing stuff. So it's low enough where I can hear it, but... You, if you can hear it, let me know, all right? So if I'm singing, that's why, because I'm singing to the music, guys. All right, let's give this a spray. All right. Okay, guys, my first time making, like, homemade waffles. I barely ever made homemade waffles. I got to get um, a plate, a tray or something to put them on. Put this in here. All right, I don't know how much to put in here. You guys see? Yeah. Let's see if that's enough. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's good. Let me get something to put them on when they come out. I don't know how long you have to put 
put it on. Put it, let's see. So guys, um, how's your day going? I, I don't I wasn't feeling that great today. No, I think, you know, you know what's weird? As I felt really, really good earlier. Like I had a lot of motivation, if you could see guys. I literally put makeup on today. I remember, I, um, if you saw my earlier video, I was saying I need to get to get, motiv get motivated, that I had to go in the shower and I kept saying, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. And I just couldn't do it. And finally I got myself up and just do it. That's gonna be my new saying. Not only that, don't let anyone ever tell you shine guys. Don't forget about that. But also just do it. That is gonna be my motto because that's really what helps me. I just kept saying, just do it, just do it, just do it, just do it. And I was able to finally, after an hour, get up and force myself and get into the shower. And I felt so good afterwards, guys. I'm so, so, so glad that I did that. You know, I really think that pushing yourself is so, so worth it. So worth it. Oh, these are going to be so fun. I'm so excited. How do I get excited over something like this? That's really strange, isn't it? I have issues. <laughs> How long does it take to cook? Let me ask. I, maybe I should have checked that. That would have been a good idea. So, yeah. So, anyway, guys, do whatever you have to do to get yourself up and to get yourself going, okay? Because believe me, in the long run, you're going to be happy. Pretty wild for I can't stand all these pop up things. Come on. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, until they're golden brown. Three and a half to four minutes. Okay. So, mm hmm. So good! I'm so excited! Let me get a snack. I'll be right there. Like I have to, I have to say, I, I was putting my makeup on, and and I was talking to my daughter as I was doing it, and I'm like, what do I? I'm like, I don't like. How does this look? And she's like, good. And I'm like. Well, I mean, I'm only going into the kitchen, you know? And she's like, oh, but yeah, of course, you know, you still get uh, makeup and all that. So I said, yeah, yeah. I said, that, you know, that, that's the truth. I'm only going into the kitchen, but it makes me feel good. It makes me feel better and it makes me feel good to put a little makeup on, to make myself look a little pretty than I think I am maybe. I don't know, whatever. But uh, yeah, it really does help, guys, to get up, get moving. Even if I push, I have to push myself, I don't care. I got up, I did it, and I feel so much better that I did. I'm telling you guys, a year ago, I would have sat on the couch and said, you know what, I'm not getting up. I'm not, what's, what's the sense? What's the sense? I'm not going anywhere. That's what I would say. What? I'm not going anywhere. Well, really? Yes, you are. You're going somewhere. You're going in the kitchen to, make product, to, to be productive and do things that you enjoy to do. That's what I tell myself now. I've come so far, guys. It's like unbelievable. I've come so far in my mental, in my mental mind that it's amazing. It really is amazing. Okay, I think this is done. Oh my God, guys, look at that. Oh my God, so cute. Now I'm gonna spray it again, only because I, I'm afraid not to, I don't know. That is so cute. Oh my God. Let's do another one. They came out so, and I love this little dash thing. I love it. So great. So yeah, guys, do whatever you have to do to tell yourself, you know, to get up and get moving. You'll feel so much better. Um, it's just amazing. It really is amazing. Um, and I'm telling you, you're going to feel so much better. You're going to feel so good if you're lagging. You know, just get up and do it. Just do it. Oh my God, it smells so good, guys. So, 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 so good. So yeah, so um, I had to step away for a minute. These look really good. The only thing is it doesn't seem very crispy. I guess when you toast it, it'll be crispy. I'm gonna have to taste one, I'm sorry guys. I'll, I'll count it, but I have to taste one after. I'm gonna definitely taste one, I have to. Um, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do these and then I'm gonna start on the other ones. I have a recipe for a low carb. What am I, what am I doing? I have a recipe for a low carb um, waffle. Let's see. This one. Uh, two large eggs, two, um, two ounces of cream cheese, 
almond flour, which I have, coconut oil, one tablespoon coconut oil, melted butter, which I have, melted butter. Um, obviously, I have butter. And then um, a, a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Just pour, blend it up. I'll have to use my, my hand mixer. And then um, put it into the waffle maker. Very easy, guys. I smell it. I think another another set, couple of seconds. I've made chaffles in these guys. They're so good. The chaffles, they have so many different recipes for chaffles. I even see now. I looked on Pinterest. They even have like pizza ones, and you can make so many things with this. Like low carb, it's so great, guys. You know, there's so much open to you. You just have to grab it. You just have to grab it and try it. You really do. I'm finding that too. That I really just have to do that. I did so much procrastinating in my life, guys, that I lost so much time in my life. I literally have lost so much time. Now I'm trying to get it all back. Woo! Number two. I'm not going to spray it this time. It said you only had to spray it one time, so I don't know. We'll see. Let's see if it's telling the truth. And you get a lot of waffles out of this, guys. Out of this batter, a lot of waffles. You gotta watch you don't put too much in here because it will overflow. If you put too much, it'll overflow. And that's the only thing that will happen. So that's not really a big deal. So, um, all right. So let's see. All, add all ingredients to a blender. I, I, I hope I can do it with a mixer because I don't even have a blender. Yeah, I think I can, um, I think I can do it with a hand mixer. Two eggs, two ounce cream cheese. I wonder if this cream cheese has to be softened. Because that's not happening right now. Let's see. I'm listening to Adele, guys. I love Adele. Did you ever hear that song, All I Ask by Adele? If you haven't heard it, guys, please listen to it. All I Ask by Adele. It literally breaks my heart, makes me cry. I love that song. I'm a sucker for ballads anyway. I really am. I love it. I love all those kind of songs. All right, let's see. Pour the batter into a ingredient. Lace the grease. Make your own. What did I say? Add all ingredients. It doesn't say. Um. Oh yeah, melted butter. Okay. Hey. Uh, oh, look. This one overflowed a little bit, guys. Look. <laughs> look, it's oozing out a little bit. This one I made a little bit, um, I put a little bit more in here than the other one. Two eggs, cream cheese, and almond flour. All right, guys, I'm getting ready, finishing up these, and then I'm gonna start mixing up the, um, the low carb ones. This is done. Look how this one came out, guys. Oh, I'm gonna taste it. So good. Really good. I have to, um, I think I should leave them in a little bit longer though. I think they need to get just a little bit browner. That's what I have to do. All right, it says here, add all ingredients to a blender and blend well. Okay, so how much almond flour do I need? Let's see. Two to four tablespoons of almond flour. Two to four tablespoons. Why do they tell you? I guess you'd start out with. This is done, definitely now. Yeah. Getting them a little bit crunchy. And you know what, guys? It's not sticking. Remember I said they said only do it once? And I was like, what? I did it twice? It's not sticking. That's cool. Let's put one in here. All right, two, it says two to four teaspoons of almond flour. Hmm. So I guess I'll start out with two teaspoons and then see if I need um, more. Yeah, this is a teaspoon. Ooh, 
keep my almond flour in here, guys. So let's start out with two. I might just try to whisk it. I might just whisk it and not get my electric mixer out. It says two eggs, two large eggs. So let's see, um, a half a teaspoon baking powder, and I have to do melted butter again. Baking powder. Uh, what did I say, a half a, half a teaspoon of baking powder. Baking powder. Half a teaspoon. Two ounces cream cheese. Does it doesn't say, um, I might have to soften the cream cheese too because I don't think the seafood is the seafood. I don't think the, um, I don't think the cream cheese is going to really whisk up well if it's not a little softened. So let me, let me get a knife. Start mixing stuff. I don't see how this is going to be a waffle and there's, there's no flour. There's only two teaspoons of flour. That doesn't make it, I'm gonna put more, I'm gonna put those other two teaspoons in. I don't see that happening. There we go. And then I gotta do the cream cheese. Looks yummy, guys. Was it nice? There's two ounces of cream cheese, so that's, here. We'll put the butter in here and the cream cheese. How much butter do I need? How much butter do I need? One tablespoon of butter. Can okay, use one tablespoon of butter. One tablespoon of butter. And then two ounces of, of cream cheese. So that's right here. But what I'll do is I'll heat the butter up first. So this way, um, nice. Ow. Let's put more in there. This is fun, guys. It's a lot of fun. Love creating things. Love it. Let's heat this up and then we'll stick the the um the cream cheese in there to get a little bit melted, a little bit soft. Let's get rid of this. So over here. Put this over here. So it's out of the way. And then I'm gonna melt this, soften this cream cheese a little bit. I'm gonna put it in there with that. Give me one second, guys. Talk some of your cells. Get this. Here. I don't know if it's going to mix up without the. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's just softening up. The butter's softening it up. These are very um, eggy. Like, I thought they would be at least more floury, but. I think it says if you want to make more of a cake. Yeah, it does say that. If you want to make more of a cakey batter, put more almond flour in. So I'm going to see what it looks like. I might, I might do that, guys. I might do that. 
says that right here. Let's see, guys. It says, yeah. It says you can add two tablespoons more um, almond flour. I'll see. Because if I add more almond flour, then the net carbs go up. They go up to seven. If I add two more, they go up to seven. Otherwise, there's six. So, I guess one serving would be six, right? Yeah, serving one, one Belgian waffle. I think I have, I'd rather have it a little bit bigger, I think, if I'm just having one. You know what I mean? I think you're supposed to blend it because it's, the cream cheese is like a little bit choppy. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna put one more teaspoon of, um, of almond flour. One more. I'm just gonna put that for this lump and cream cheese didn't like dissolve all the way. I want to make sure that it's it's supposed to be, you know. So this is fun, guys. I love doing stuff like this. Jenny's in the living room. I'm surprised she hasn't come in here and asked me to do, asked me to help. She wants to make sugar cookies, so I don't know. I might bite the bullet. I might bite the bullet and make some sugar cookies with her. We'll see. I'm gonna really give this a good mix. Husband's at physical therapy. He um, actually went to the surgeon yesterday, and thank God he was so happy. The surgeon said that his arm is so much better. Thank God he's ha he's getting more mobility in it, and it's going in the right direction. Because last time he was there, he wasn't happy. The doctor had said that it, you know his arm should have been further than it was, so he was all upset about that. But now he feels better. So he probably won't have the other um, surgery probably for about another two months. I would say because. This one has to be healed completely, molds more than completely, like 95, 98 percent before he does the other arm because the other arm has to be, you know, he has to have at least one arm to do whatever he has to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? He won't be able to function, and it won't be good. All right, so this is as good as it's gonna get, I think. I mean, it's gonna be a little lumpy. Not gonna be perfect. I'm excited to make one of these guys. I'm gonna make one next, I think. Now, I mean, of course, look at the difference between, you know, this thing having vanilla in it. I'm putting some vanilla in it. Like, really? Well, that's not fair. I'm a teaspoon. I want flavor. Flavor. Look at this batter, guys. See? Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. See how it's a little lumpy? How the cream cheese is, uh, that's why I probably could have did a little mix over. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, after this one, guys, I'm going to put in one of mine. Excited to see this. Let's try to bring you a little bit closer. Let's try to bring you a little bit closer. Take this one out. This one's done. 
Let's, I'm gonna spray it once just because I don't want I don't know how these are gonna be. All right, guys, ready? I'm just gonna pour this in. All right, I hope I didn't put too much in it. You gotta be careful not to overload it. We'll see, guys. We'll see. Guys, these look really good. Mmm. So good. We'll see if it's a fail or a, a fail or not a fail. I don't know, guys. Food is really hard not to eat when it's in front of you. These are really good. I'm very excited about those. Now that I know... It's so easy to make. Lots of. You don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. Guys, this looks good. I can't believe how easy these were to make. I literally cannot even believe it. Let's peek. Looks so yummy. They're baking some of my pants. I'm going to be using some of my um, extra weak points today because I want to taste this. And it's like five, six. It's so now this is like seven points because um, of the extra almond flour that I added. Let me get a plate. I'm going to get my special butter. My butter. One second. Get it out now. Now, I don't have any sugar free freaking syrup because I forgot to buy it when it was food shopping. So I'm not going to put any syrup on mine because it's it's bad. It's it's a lot of points. I think I'm going to leave it in a little bit longer to get more crunchy. I want it a little bit. I like it a little bit crunchy, guys. Um, comment below if you guys like your waffles and pancakes a little bit crispy. I like my, my pancakes really light. Like, I really do like, I don't like them raw. Don't get me wrong. I don't like them with the raw batter. But I like them just done and light. That's how I like my pancakes. But I do enjoy the little brown, like, pieces on the end of the, um, of the, on the, on the end of the, um, hot dog. On the end of the a pancake. Love that. Love the crispy parts. So good. I'm telling you guys, I'm a carb. I'm a carb addict. I love freaking carbs. Comment below if you're a carb addict, guys, because I I'd like to know that I'm not alone. I really would. It would make me feel a lot better about myself. <laughs> All right, let's see. This looks good, guys. Look. Now this looks a lot like the other one. Look. Right. All right, guys. Let's put a little butter on. A lot. This one's a lot thinner. All right, guys, let's see now. Let's get my verdict. Hot. Guys. It's really very much like a waffle. I mean, it's definitely not this, but see the difference? This, of course, is more eggy, but it definitely, it could pass for a waffle. Like, it would make me happy. You know, I'd be satisfied. 
The only thing is, like, I'm going to put more in here because I think it needs to be thicker. And I think it needs, in the batter, I think it needs a little bit of sugar, but not real sugar, of course. Some of my stevia. Put a little stevia in here. A lot better. It needs a little bit of something. Or, it's really good though, guys. It really is. The cream cheese does it. Almond salad is good. Mmm. I'm happy. Mm. I'm very happy, guys. It's really, really good. Like I said, a little bit of the stevia, and I think I'm going to take get, a, get some stevia and put it on, put it in the last one that I'm going to have here. Because I think that'll really make the difference. Just a little bit. I think that'll make the... Or you can put, like I was going to say, you can put fruit in it. Maybe some fruit will, you know, sweeten it up a little bit. Maybe a little couple of raspberries, a blueberry, something like that. So this one I made thicker, guys. Look at that. Now that's a waffle. The first one I made too thin. So it really wasn't worth seven points, but I ate it, so it was seven points. What? Where's Sissy? Oh, she went to Darren's uh, parents. She said goodbye. She loves you. She'll call you. Talk to you later. Julie went to her boyfriend to be um, mother and father's for the weekend. Guys, some really good stuff's going to be happening in our family, and I can't tell you because it's it's uh, going to be a surprise. Can't tell you now until it happens, but I'm just I'm just letting you know I'm really excited. Some really really good things are coming up in our family, so be be excited for us. You'll know when I know. <laughs> okay, I had to say something. Another couple of minutes. Let's see. Now we'll put it. We're going to put this one in and see if it. Oh, what am I going to do now? How am I going to taste it? Jesus, I tasted that one already. What's today? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Oh my God, I still have five days before my new week starts. Lord in heaven, give me the strength. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. I'll just keep getting back. I'll just get back on track and do what I have to do because I'm not going to demolish anything just because I have an extra piece of waffle. Oh, Lord, help me. Right, let's see. Does it have to cook a little bit more? Yeah, it has to cook a little bit more. I want it to get a little crunchy. I guess I could toast it. Probably what I could do is after I did do this, you know, when I took them, when I take them out of the freezer, when I make them, obviously I'm gonna stick them with a toaster, so they will become a little bit more crunchy. I think that's what we, that's what you have to do. That's what makes them crunchy because they're not gonna really come out too crunchy. No. Guys, my sugar's been good. Well, last night, all night, oh, guys, you know what? I was so bad last night. Listen, you know, I told you guys that I'm going to be honest with you guys, and there's no sense in hiding anything because I can't. I can't hide it. Last night, I was doing good. I um, I was having a snack, and I'm trying to remember what, what I forget exactly what I had for a snack, but my daughter was going, her boyfriend took her out to Red Lobster for a crack because yesterday was her graduation. So, um, not yesterday, Wednesday. So they went out to dinner last night and I said to her, please, can you bring me back a roll, a, a biscuit? You know, Red Lobster's biscuits, guys. If you haven't had a Red Lobster biscuit, guys, please go in there with a lot of points when we watch this because you're going to need it. <laughs> it's so good. So she brought me two, she brought three home. Jenny took one. My husband didn't want his. So I, what did I eat, guys? I had two biscuits. I didn't even know how many points there were, but I would... I just ate them like I was not even on Weight Watchers. This is what I'm talking about. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But I just, I did it. I did it. And I wonder why my sugar was high during the night. It was like in the 200, high 200s. That's why. All right, guys, look. Oh, man, so much better, see? Much thicker. I mean, it looks like the other waffles. Just smaller, just smaller. All right, let's get this. In there, I think this is probably going to be the rest of it. 
I don't want it to overflow, but it might. A tiny drop. Mm. Oh, it's going to overflow. I know it's going to overflow. This one's going to overflow, and there's a little bit left, guys. Mm. Not really enough to make another waffle. So it probably makes about four waffles. That's what it makes. Is I ate one. There's one here. There's one in there. And if I didn't overflow that, it would make four waffles. Not bad. Not bad for that. That's pretty good. I can make like two or three batches, stick them in the freezer. I'm definitely going to do that because um, I want to be able to have them available if I want something different. Because I'm telling you guys, I'm getting freaking tired of eggs. I love eggs. You don't understand. I'm an egg-like crazy lady. But I'm getting tired of eating the same freaking thing every morning. And, you know, I buy bacon, but once it's gone, like, we don't have it usually for the second week because we don't get paid yet or whatever, so I don't buy it again. Unless I buy two two pounds at a time, which I rarely do. Um, and bacon, honestly, is really not great to have in the house, too, because it's just too good. You know, I like to have it a couple of days, but that's it. And I also have sausage in there, but I have to get the light sausage because... The regular sauce, like the regular breakfast sauce is, is expensive in points. It's like three points, I think, for two. But if you get the light, it's cheaper. Or I can get the turkey one, which I'm not crazy about. I'd rather get the light because I really don't like the turkey one. I'm going to have it try. Well, yeah, I have tried. I'm really not crazy about it. Oh, see, it's overflowing. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Um, so, yeah. So, um, I, I like to have sauces sometimes. But, you know, you got to change it up for breakfast because... You know, breakfast, I feel for me, with Weight Watchers, is a really, really important meal because it's really that keeps me full. Like, if I, I need a really high-protein breakfast, it keeps me full until later on in the afternoon until I can have a, a nice lunch, um, a cheaper lunch. So if my breakfast is usually higher and my lunch is usually cheaper because um, that's how it has to be. So, um, but, you know, like this really, I mean, this is really seven points. It really is not worth seven points. If you think about it, it's really not. Like, this is crazy. This is crazy. But I will have them in the freezer for a change up once in a while, once a week maybe, just to have something different. And, um, you know, have a waffle with an egg or two on it and, like, something like that. That's what, you know, but, so that's what I need to do. But I need to, like, for, like for breakfast, if I have a, if I have a yogurt, that's, that would be three points. Well, what's a yogurt going to do for me? Like a yogurt, a yogurt's like with breakfast. It's not going to be a breakfast, you know what I mean? And I have to watch the carbs, so that's the problem too, you know? Like this has six, seven carbs in it too, I think. Um, actually, you know what? Yeah, I don't, I got to find out exactly. This has seven carbs. That's what I'm talking about. This has carbs. I don't know what the points are on this. I have to literally have to check this. I got confused. I'm sorry, guys. It was, it's the carbs that's the six or seven on this, not the points, because I don't know the points yet. I gotta put it in. I gotta put it in on Weight Watchers and see what it is. I don't think I can, there's really not much here to, I don't know, let me see. Yeah, guys, look. Nice. This is a Let's get it all out. Let me see. What if I chica? guys Shh. don't tell anybody don't tell anybody we'll see all right guys so i'm excited i got i can get probably another i would say probably got another three or four maybe five um waffles out of this this is dirty this is dirty Put this in the sink. This is the land. This night. Hold it back to you. 
Now this is the one that had the little, um, had the, the sweetness in it, right? Guys, a lot better. A lot better with a little bit of the um, the stevia in it. A lot better, guys. I even think, guys, I really do. I think even a little extra pinch of salt in there with between the little um, the little stevia and a little bit of another pinch of salt that it called for. These are going to be perfect. They really are. They're going to be perfect. But if you see that, guys, you can see, like, the egg in there. You know, which you don't, of course, you don't see this. They're completely different. But, yeah. Mm. It's all good. This one's kind of nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, I just looked on the back of this, guys. Mint lemonade. Woo! Mint lemonade. Shit, shoot. Two slices of lemon, two teaspoon lemon juice, one tablespoon Splenda, top jar, wait, sweetener table, top jar, mint leaves, um, a half a cup of chilled soda water or water, I guess, seltzer, three quarters of ice, and a tall glass mush, mashed lemons. Oh God, I gotta make this. Probably just, I don't even need mint, probably. You just make it with regular lemon. I love lemonade. Woo. Okay, guys. This one's nice and crispy. Look at that. Hey, here's my low-carb waffles. Yummy. Yummy. Rachel Connolly, you'll be very happy. Look what I made. Well, I've been watching you on, on your channel. Love it. I'm getting all kinds of ideas for low-carb Thank you so much. Keep them coming so I can get a lot of great ideas. There you go. Low carb waffles. I had to do that. Sorry. <laughs> She's got some good stuff on her channel. That low carbs and stuff. So it's really, really good. Oh, I hope that's enough. All right, guys. So, yeah. So these are really good. I'm going to wait till these cool. I got issues with smelling my food. Does anybody here comment down below, guys? Do you guys like to smell your food? Because I love to smell my food. Mmm, I love it. So these are gonna cool, and then I'm gonna put them in. Um, I'm gonna put like a little piece of wax paper in the middle, of, or like wrap each one in wrap wax paper. Put it in a ziploc bag. That's what I'm gonna do with those, and get them all frozen in the oven. And now when Jenny eats her waffles tomorrow, guess what? Mommy has waffles. Mommy has waffles. Mommy has waffles. Crazy, crazy. It's so nice and quiet and peaceful, guys. You guys are just sitting here staring at me. 48 minutes. 48 minutes. Oh, Lordy. A watch pot doesn't boil. Do you ever know? Do you ever hear about that? When you're watching something, it doesn't boil. <laughs> I'm gonna, so, um, what's today? Friday. So I'll be back probably, yes, tonight we're gonna do, um, fish sandwiches again. My husband and I love those fish sandwiches we made last week. I think I made a video of it. I'm pretty sure. Um, they were delicious, guys. I bred them and I put them in the, in the, um, the George, in the, um, the Ninja Fryer. <gasps> so good. So good. I probably won't have a roll with one because I had a little bit extra today with that waffle, with that waffle and stuff. So I probably won't have a roll, but I'll have it by itself with tartar sauce, guys, and pickles. And oh, so good. I use cod, and I also have flounder that I'm going to use, frozen flounder, because I only have four pieces of cod left, and they're really small. So we'll probably need a couple more pieces because Jenny loves that, too. So, um, yeah, so that's what we're going to have tonight. So I'll probably show you. I, I probably won't show you me making it, but I'll probably show you. Come on and show you what you're going to tonight and all that and maybe something else i don't know i'll see i'll see so we're gonna get this last one done and then i'm gonna say goodbye and then we'll move on so guys listen thank you so much if you're new here for coming to my channel i'm so excited that you're here i love it when new people come on and thank you again to to my old people not my old people but 
Um, my old friends who are here to support me, I appreciate you guys being here. Also, guys, whoever asked about the um, the P.O. Box, if you want to know, I am considering doing it. I'm probably going to do it next month for March. So I'll let you know, guys, what that is, if that's if that's something that you're interested in. Somebody, I had a few people ask me about it, so I was considering doing it. I just wanted to let you know. Um, and don't forget to hit this the thumbs up button on the bottom when you guys are, and you guys will be notified when I upload a video. And um, thanks for being here, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Say goodbye, waffles. Thanks for watching me make waffles, guys. See you on the next one.